Hello, my beautiful Virgos. Welcome to my channel. I'm Rena Wells. And if you are new here, welcome, welcome. And to my returning subscribers, make sure you hit that notification bell. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't yet, guys. I would absolutely appreciate that. And also, yes, the setup is different. I'm getting ready to do, Spirit guided me to do a twin flame reading, soul connection separation reading uh, for the spring equinox. So that will be up by this weekend. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out if you guys want to work with me all my info is down below just please uh yeah if you have any info that yeah, any you have any questions or anything just send me an email if you want to work with me let's get started this is for virgo sun moon rising venus and north node please make sure you look at your north node it helps with your path moving forward and um kind of gives you an idea of your south node and where you're moving away from wow there's some passion uh, happening here virgo this masculine is all hot and heavy. Let's just say that. That wanted to come out. Think of your person. Red is masculine. Black is feminine. You can also do it based on traits. This is a little different. This is a gypsy spread that was given to me many, many years ago. Uh, so this is not something that you're going to learn or find on YouTube or books or any other teacher. This is something that was passed down to a family that was given to me as a beautiful gift from spirit. So, um... Please be open-minded, especially if you are a reader yourself. This is a different way of reading. So let's take a look. Phew, very good, guys. Let's take a look. I'm using number seven. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and North Node. So yeah, let's take a look. We're going to do seven cards. Four, five, six, seven. Usually I spell the person's name. But obviously, this is a general read. Remember to take what resonates, guys. This is general. Also, make sure that you take a look at all the other placements in your chart. It's important so you get a very under general understanding of the energies that are coming through. And um, so you can get a better understanding of what's going on in your situation. And yeah, yeah. Um, you may also want to like look at this for yourself, look at this for your person's perspective, and look at this as a union energy, because when you change your intention and how you view things, those things change. You may get more clarity that way as well. Wow, we got a wild card here. You may want to look at uh, Cap's reading as well. I also did Earth Signs last. Spirit told me to do Earth Signs last because it's a grounded energy, and we're coming in, we're in spring now. That's about grounding, planting seeds, and growing. So it's very important that if you are, if you don't have earth in your chart or you don't know where the placements are, you're just pulled to these readings, please watch them because um, it's just a sign that uh, you need to, there's a message in there for you, okay? So just go by your intuition. Look at this, Virgo. <laughs> Look at this, Virgo. This feminine is gone. <laughs> this feminine, you, this, this masculine is obsessed with the feminine energy all we have for the feminine in this read is this joker and i don't usually put this i haven't read car, uh, cardology car, cardamassi in a long time so um <laughs> it's a very different energy like i can't wait to get back to tarot because it's a it's a different stream of energy channeled energies it's very fascinating but it's i'm not used to it but this is funny because i don't usually put this in spirit told me last moment to put it in to put one in and i said it's going to make it uneven spirit's like just do it and it's come up for almost every sign, guys, okay? Um, but this is fascinating because the only energy that the feminine is holding, and this is not even feminine. It may even be for the masculine. The feminine may not even be present here. Spirit is saying this is feminine. She's holding space and she's open to whatever comes in, but she has zero other uh, expectations, feelings, thoughts. She's just like, meh, whatever, do whatever the hell you want, I'm out. Like, I have space come back whenever if you do if you don't that's fine like this feminine has completely moved on you guys okay this masculine in the center of the read this is not just about this is not a ten of cups card like tarot this is about ending old cycles of karma of love okay this is having a massive realization of what love is you may want to watch the cancer reading as too as well too because cancer is just coming into recognizing what true love is the masculine energy is anyways and this is the same kind of thing just realizing what the hell was i doing i didn't really know what love was okay this masculine is like i you know want this this um holy trinity here 
with this feminine, but she was backstabbed. So she's not going to take it. Like, she's just not going to take it. He wants to come together and like give her gifts, but she's passionately working on herself. Really? She's just passionately working on herself. You know, what's funny for, for Capricorn. I didn't do this part. Did I do this part? I don't know what's going on with my brain. You guys last night, I did a light language transmission for somebody and it shifted me so hardcore. Um, so I'm sorry if I'm a little off this morning. I'm drinking coffee like mad, but it's like, um, but spirit is telling me it's coming through as it needs to. So if I do miss steps in some of these readings this morning, it's please trust that spirit is guiding me because something shifted with me huge last night. So I'm just like, did I do this for cap? And if I didn't, I'm sorry, but it had to happen that way. <laughs> if you're watching, if you watch cap, I have to just mention that. Okay. Damn, man, when you shift, guys, things shift. Okay, so Spirit is saying here, this masculine did uh, choose somebody else, okay? Went into a karmic situation, and yeah. And this feminine felt the, the lust and the passion of that, and she was like, yeah, I ain't, I'm not bothered. I'm not, I'm moving. Like, she was backstabbed by this, and, and this, this feminine has been backstabbed a lot. She's so over it. Even though this masculine wants this love, this feminine went on to her own path to find her own passionate ways, and um, is not dealing with, she, she's out, you know, and I know if I'm maybe watching this, I feel like you're just checking in on the energies. It's like an energy check-in, a holding space. And it's like, he wants to build out of a place of love now. This masculine is coming back because he loves you, Divine Feminine. All right, he loves you, but you're like, you broke down the foundation. Like, you, this masculine has some explaining to do. Because this feminine is not going, listen, this is what I'm seeing with this feminine. This feminine is going to be like, yeah, that's nice that you're back. Um, so I want to know why you did this. She's going to be like that. She's going to, she, it's not going to be emotional for her. She's going to be like, and why did you do that? And what's your explanation for this? And she's going to know this feminine. No, she's going to know if he's playing or if he's not playing because she, uh, she's been working on herself guys. Okay. Uh, this masculine went off for money. could have been a money, money, passion thing. He got seduced into something and uh, this feminine is like, I learned to passionately love myself, thanks. I learned to take care of myself, I learned to love myself. And so she's really highly protective of her vibe because this feminine is not even in this, this masculine is obsessed. <sighs> he's obsessed and he's got a, yeah, he's obsessed. Let's <laughs> see what else is going on, guys. Let's see what similarities are running here for Virgo. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node, guys. Okay, yeah, this this feminine energy is like, I passionately feel you, but you, but I can feel that you only think with one thing. He may have been very immature. I feel like this was a maturing process. This masculine may have been very childish. Okay, it's like a man-child. You know what I mean? It's like they think they're men, but they're not really men. Um, but that's fine. That's an evolution process. But this feminine, I feel there's a big, it's not an age gap, but I feel there's a big discrepancy in energies. Um, this masculine is only starting to realize, I believe what's happened. That's why he's, he had to have tough love. That's what spirit is saying. I just did cap. You may want to look at cap as well. Look at this feminine is looking, is holding space. She's, she's passionately working with, uh, she could have somebody else. Some, some of you feminines, uh, are, are dating and with other people and, um, is opening and holding space for real passion and love because of this betrayal. And it may come in a form of a person, but it may be your mission. It may be, uh, love for yourself. It, however it is, she's passionately feeling that betrayal with other things and I'm um, really getting and she's clear okay the, I'm picking up on some really powerful feminines here yeah look at this this feminine's coming in this is all feminine energy now this masculine hasn't taken action so he's still in a little man child energy going, oh, I don't know I don't know I'm scared he feels the shift I don't think he I don't know if he I don't know if he's really preparing I think he's just sitting on the fence right now he may be still going through a healing process I feel that he is still purging and healing and this feminine is just, it's coming out. All of this is coming out because for the first part to be all about masculine and now all these cards are coming out are feminine energies. She's choosing self. And this masculine is still watching her from the outskirts. So I'm feeling this masculine is stalking you. Okay, divine feminines. I feel this masculine is watching your energy. 
Yeah, she's passionately loving herself, making her own coin. This masculine sees and loves that she's making her own coin, doing her own thing, being her own abundant self. But he wants to give to her some way, and he feels like the only way right now is maybe monetary means. But it's not, yeah. She's like, I can passionately, she, I feel this feminine feels this masculine wants to communicate with her, but she's like, really bring it. I ain't playing. There, I ain't playing, and <laughs> you got to be honest so altruistically honest because she has been th this queen okay i'm gonna call her a queen because that's what she is virgo this queen is like oh i know all the tricks of the trade i know it she may not she may not have played that or shown that side to the masculine before this is what i'm getting this feminine may have been very kind and patient and just open and held space before and did not pressure the masculine but that ain't gonna happen now this feminine is in her power and she will pressure him to shine brightly to share love if he is coming if he wants to really come back and this masculine is terrified of that this masculine does not know how to approach a real divine feminine so he is missing her greatly obsessed with her stalking her watching her but he ain't actioning anything i don't see anything being actioned so yeah he may still be in a healing process we'll see what the, what the oracles say because there's only so much that you can get out of these but yeah let's see what the oracles say this is last time around guys three times the charm let's see what other similarities are coming through but divine feminine this is like in the action place of what's in common and they have nothing in common the only thing is monetary wise for the masculine to want to give to her he do, has not opened his heart he's not communicating here he feels the abundance here of divine feminine and this feminine knows the abundance that she holds so he 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 feels this abundant energy with her he <laughs> He wants to be with her. But again, it's just a fantasy. It's just, it's not even fantasy. It's like he knows this. I sip a coffee, guys. But he's overthinking. That's what it is. Thank you, Spirit. He's overthinking about how to do this. It's like, just do it. Like, that's another part of a man child. It's like, you can think and think and think and think and think and think and think, but a real man actually takes the action, you know? Actions always speak more than words. This feminine knows that too. So let's clarify, guys, because this feminine can feel the energies, but she's not partaking in it, okay? Yeah, because she feels like he may still be involved. He may still be involved. This is the thing. He may still be in a karmic situation, and she may re feel that energy, and so she's not dealing. She was betrayed by this masculine, uh, by passion. You know, they had a very passionate connection, and he betrayed it. He made promises and all of that, right? And he betrayed it. And so she's like, no, I, I'm, I'm not dealing with any type of energy like that, no matter if it's twin flame, soulmate, whatever else. We have two tens that first came out. Look at this. Okay? Um, so this feminine is like, I'm ending cycles. So this feminine has ended massive karmic cycles in her own life. This is why the masculine is obsessed with you, divine feminine. Yeah. He feels this coming together to want to to um, share uh, a physical, tangible connection together. He wants to offer her something. He's holding, <laughs> he's holding the holy trinity of wealth. He wants to build with her. Yeah, but if there's no hearts here. Like he's not, um, he's not doing anything. And there's no fives. There's no communication yet. Let's see. Yeah, she's like. Go put your 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 second thing and whatever your lingam and someone else. Like go do that. Like <laughs> this is what happened. She's like, I'm not taking it. I'm not taking it. You're you're confusing passion and love and sex and all that and money and all that. And it was an immature thing. And but he has these codes within him to build something very holy. But it's it's just not happening for this masculine. He's just sitting there. I feel like he's still in karmic situations. I don't feel that he has, he may have taken initial steps to explain and, and, and try to get out of something, but he's not, he, there's nothing passionate here with this masculine. I mean, he's, he's passionate about the money. All right. Let's see here because this feminine, she's holding space. Like she is holding space, but she's passionately looking for, for something that spirit will bring to her that will leverage her. Yeah. She's not taking um, 
an offer if it's a lack in, in abundance. She's just not. She's not taking somebody who can't meet her in a very deep, vulnerable place, okay? She knows her worth, yeah. And Spirit is gifting that, this love to this Divine Feminine. She trusts, Divine Feminine trusts that Spirit will bring in this love. And this masculine has this love for her. He has it. And so she's holding space for her. She's holding space for him, sorry. But she's holding space for whoever can fill that spot. It's not just necessarily the divine masculine. He has it, but I don't see this masculine actioning or wanting to. He's not doing anything right now. He loves her. He wants to take that spot. He wants that place in her life, okay? Um, let's do one more. What about the masculine here towards divine feminine? Like he wants to do, he wants to be that person. He may be a very jealous person, that's what I'm getting. He can't stand anyone being with his divine feminine. So clarifying the king is like he wants to build this passionate. He feels that she she's very passionate about her life and everything. He wants to fill that place of that passion. This feminine is taking the time for herself to build her foundation. And he sees that and he recognizes that. He wants to come in, you know. He wants to come in and bring that love. Look at that. Ten of hearts, okay. But this is ending all ways of love, okay. He 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 want, he loves her and he wants to end the old ways of how he loved it before and learn a new way of loving. So he feels like a baby who's walking for the first time. You know he has to kind of hang on to something. He's very unsure about himself. To but he wants to still build this foundation with her. What? Look at this. Two fours here, right? They both want to build together. She's holding the space, but this this eight of of uh <laughs> of spades here is also like. You got to prove it. You got to prove your, your worth to me. Have you found your worth to divine masculine? And I don't think he's fully found it yet. Okay. Let's take a look. Divine feminine. This is, it was very painful. Your structure was taken down. You had to passionately build your, your structures back up. You had to build yourself up out of the pits of hell is what I'm hearing. Out of this broke you and God is bringing in the money in for you. Just how the seven came up with the seven of hearts, the seven of diamonds is here. And Spirit is saying, I'm giving that to you. Again, it may be with this masculine, it may not be. It's whoever can bring in that, that, that space, that pentacle is what I'm hearing, that offer. You're not attaching it to a person anymore, Divine Feminine. It's really beautiful. All you know is that you want to build structure and abundance and a stable uh, calling. You want to heal the planet. You want to bring people into healing. You want to find your mission. You want to know your journey. You're, you're curious about it. You really... It's so funny because every time I'm looking at these cards, 10, 10, 10, 10. So there's massive cycles ending for you, Virgo. Okay, Divine Feminine has moved into a new place. This masculine really loves the Divine Feminine. Wants to make love to her. Wants to be with her. Wants to give her the money. Wants to build a foundation. Wants to prove it. He wants to prove it. He's just scared. Oh, good Lord. It's like a child learning to walk. That's what I keep seeing. Look, he wants to talk about maybe... He may come in and say, look, let's build something first. He's going to keep the love and emotion out of it because he knows that that may trigger her, okay? Because she may not trust that, okay? Um, he may have been a player, right? And that energy, you know, that energy, it's so gross. Um, and she may not trust that. So he he's looking for different ways right now to find some type of footing to be towards Divine Feminine. This Divine Feminine energy here is passionately loving herself, working on her coin, masculine sees that, and he loves to see how she's financially stable. He doesn't understand how this Divine Feminine can do what she does in the world, okay, and how she could be so abundant and so loving and so kind and 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 still be a, a businesswoman and an entrepreneur or uh, whatever she's good at her work and her stability and to support her family and how she does it all. And he feels a little bit of a lack there, right? He's ending cycles. Look at this. He's ending old ways of money. He's ending the ways of how he saw prosperity, okay? He's ending, because he's seeing her prosperity now. That's exactly what I was channeling. Did you see that? Rewind. <laughs> That's exactly what I got. And so he's aware of it and it's making him really realize how divine this connection really is. He feels a, he feels like a bit of an ass, you know, and he's like, oh, what did I do? What did I do? How do I come back from this now? 
That's really what he's thinking. He doesn't know how to come back from it, Divine Feminine. He doesn't know how to come back from it. And I know I hear you, Divine Feminine. You're like, just do it. And I hear you. It's just, just do it. Get over your fear and just do it. Like, what is your problem? But this masculine can't, there's something blocking him. It may be something traumatic from his childhood. This feminine is like, talk or go. Like, communicate or get the freak out of my life. Like, <laughs> Fire, let me tell you. So, I mean, you may have a lot of fire in your chart. I'm seeing a lot of air energy and fire energy in this feminine. Okay, in your other placements. Go take a look at that because she's like, like, the power is in your control. Divine Masculine, I ain't coming to you. She won't go to him. She won't go to him at all. And she's like, communicate with me and change or be gone and she's very passionate about that and that masculine feels that and that's what scares him because he knows you don't mess with a queen right she she's like you created the separation you did the separation two of spades a divergence you created the separation between us i i ain't dealing with that that was you need to own up for your own responsibilities and grow up and grow up you She's ended the cycle of karma. That's why she's not even present in the original spread. And his masculine knows. So he's scared. He's shaking in his boots a little bit. He's like, how is this? How is my feminine so powerful? So he's going to come through maybe with an offer of money. He's like, look, let's just, let's be friends. Let's like build this. Let's like, uh, can we just talk? Um, I don't know. I don't know. Some of y'all divine feminine. Some of y'all might take them back. Some of y'all will be like, I don't know. She's passionately like just working on herself and ending old ways of lust and old ways of dating and looking for a real man. This feminine is out there on the search, not even searching, but just like holding that vibration and being like, yeah, spirit, like bring me like not a man child. This is really what I'm getting. This, and this masculine wants to come in and he's trying to leverage up to, to her vibration. He's trying but um, this is why he's coming through with just as the king of diamonds with just a monetary offer right now. And it may be that this was something that they have talked about in the past or maybe the only way that he knows how to show love and he's having a difficult time. Um, but she she ain't going to take that. She'll be like, yeah, and what about your heart? Well, he's going to say my heart is the eight of hearts. I see the abundance. I love, I love you. I want us to be prosperous and abundant. And she's passionate about her own abundance, okay? She knows she's abundant. He wants to talk to her. He's changing his heart for this. He's changing his heart about what real love is in abundance, okay? And she's like, but I'm choosing me. So is this divine feminine is fire, let me tell you. She's like, I ain't taking nothing less. Yeah, because he's changing his heart about how he looked at karmic situations, how he's looked at human love, how he's looked at how he's done relationships before. And he's realized it doesn't work. And so he, now he notices the worth of the divine feminine. He may not have noticed it before, but he is noticing it now. But now she's like a real empress. Okay. This is like serious pre empress mode. This divine feminine is definitely not going to take crap in her life. And uh, this masculine knows. So he's like, he's leaving man child. He's leaving man child into a real divine masculine, but it, this is going to be, this is his final test. This is his final test to end karma is to come clean and to come forward and to leverage that last step. And this is very difficult. Divine feminine is like you created a, a breakdown in our foundation it, and she's not taking ownership. All the responsibility is on. And I'm not saying you guys don't mirror twins do mirror, but she's already healed. She's sitting in a very nice place that she's allowing karmic justice to happen and that's what's happening karmic justice is happening right now yes because he wants to bring the two together see that's what i'm saying virgo he knows he has to bring it together so divine feminine i'm going to label that this this video is um you know uh, karmic justice is coming for the divine feminine so you can you can choose to take this person back or not but karmic justice is coming in your favor okay Wow. Wow, 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 guys. Let's see what your oracles. I'm excited to see Virgo. What do your oracles say for Virgo? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus, please. What is going on with Virgo? And north node for the spring equinox. So start out, please. What is going on for Virgo? Virgo. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus, and north node, please. What is going on with 
a Virgo. Thank you, Spirit. What is going on for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What are the energies that are coming in here, please, Spirit? What energies are coming in? Is that it? Just two? Wow. Well, this is very powerful. Spirit only brought through two. Even through all the deception and lies, Virgo, this is true love. And that's what I was saying. This masculine didn't realize it until now. And and he's worried that he may have lost his chance. And um, this feminine is not taking deception. She wants true love. And so whoever can bring that true love, she, she's leveled up. So it's almost like the princess in the castle. Not that she needs to be saved. Not at all. She's in her castle, not even the tower. But it's like, you know, the, the, the knight has to go through all these tests to meet her into her vibration, to climb up the tower and to meet her. And only a true warrior and a true prince who becomes a king will be able to get, get this. And that's where she's sitting. That's where she's sitting. She's, she knows her truth. And she ain't going to take anything less than that. Let's see what portals are opening up. Wow, this is very intense. Divine Empress here. Hello, Virgo. So let's see what energies are opening up right now. What energies are opening up here for Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node, please, Spirit. This mask then has to come clean about the deception and the false mask that he's been wearing. Or it, it, he's going to be stuck. That's the Spirit telling me. He's going to be stuck. For most of his life, he will regret this holiness and this connection for this entire rest of his incarnation. That's his karmic justice to learn. So hopefully in the next life, when he brings his blueprint down, it's like, I got to do this. <laughs> it's the only way to ascend. And that's what happens with twin flames. If twin flames come down, they incarnate together. You have, you ascend together. You have, you just keep coming back until you ascend together, you know, until you move on to the next stage of evolutionary, um, in your soul's journey. So let's see. What's going on for Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node, please, for Virgo. What is going on here? Wow, you guys got a lot of energies, of portal energies coming through. So there's a lot of new beginnings coming through for you guys. Let's take a look. Wow. First one out is cultivating prosperity. So these are the seeds that are planting here, okay? So Spirit is saying there's new abundant energy that's coming in for this connection, for honesty to become clear, for both parties to be able to talk to each other honestly, openly. Again, this feminine knows she ain't gonna take no guff, right? Both have to look deeper into this connection, okay? Both have to kind of take a look and see what is actually happening in this connection and both have to open their hearts to this love. My heart is open. Look at this fire. So both have to be authentic, honest, and to share, cry with each other, grieve, whatever feelings come up and to not judge each other. There may have been some fear in sharing this wealth of depth with each other, but spirit is saying this is really about sharing yourself. Look at this. You have to share your place in this most vulnerable space. This masculine could not be vulnerable. And I don't feel this masculine has been able to be vulnerable with anybody fully and truly. But he wants to do it with his Divine Feminine. He's seeing the worth. He's seeing that Spirit has brought this together. But Divine Feminine won't take anything less than that. So both are standing firm here. I feel this masculine is still climbing up to this point. But this is Divine Feminine. She's already at the top of the mountain. She's like, I've made it here. Whoever, there's only one person here. And she's holding her red flag. And she's surrendered to God. Do you see that with the sun? She's surrendered. So... It's like, I am noble, brave, and strong. And it's like, whoever can meet me on the top of this mountain is who God has me for. So she's not attached to anything. <sighs> Masculine wants to come and leverage up to that. Is he going to? I don't know, guys. But this is the energies that are opening up. Spirit is like, I'm going to give an opportunity for this new door to open. And... Uh, it's up to you guys if this is what you want. You're going to have to dig deep. Both are going to have to dig deep. Both are going to have to share. Both are going to have to be vulnerable. That's depending on if you guys can do that. You know, Divine Feminine can. I feel that. Can the masculine do that? It's kind of up in the air, guys. I don't know. I don't know. It may have been separation for quite a long time is what I'm hearing for some of you, okay? It's been a long time of no communication for some of you, so... Uh, you're like, I don't know. I don't know. Has this person changed? Or is this still a deception? Is someone still wearing a mask? I, I, this is a desire for real love. So 
Let's see what other messages, healing messages here for Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Please, Spirit, what is going on for Virgo? My beautiful Virgos. I know Virgos. Your beautiful energies. The Virgin Mother. So close to Earth. So beautiful. Happy Ostara. Let's see what energies are coming in. Any other uh, advice here for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please, for my my collective here that's on my channel don't forget to like and subscribe guys if you really liked this uh, and if you're new and, and like the video now really helps that would be awesome yeah look at this okay this is what i'm talking about truth has to come out here truth be told okay we have a, a five which is a four, 14 here changes to a five truth has to be told this is divine feminine taking nothing but the truth, the whole truth, Lord, so help me God. <laughs> like this divine feminine is like, nope. You lied to me again, I'm out. I'm not taking that. She will not take a lie and she will know when it's, a, this time she will call this masculine out. This feminine may have not said anything knowing that there was something off before because she knew maybe like she was holding space and just allowing things to just unfold. But she's gained a lot of wisdom this time around. And, and if this masculine comes back, she's going to be like, no. Take off this damn mask. Look at this. Because look at the mask here, right? And there's a mask here. And there's a mask here. Nope. I'm not having it. I'm not having it until it's the truth. The whole truth. So help me God. Observing. Both are observing the situation, but they're not taking action. This is what I'm saying. Feminine will not move towards the masculine here is what I'm feeling. This masculine is having issues. See, another mask. I, I can't tell you how many masks. Look at this. Taking off the mask, taking off the mask. This mask may be taking off the mask, okay? All that glitters, which is a 716 Holy Spirit coming in. And and a 7 is a very um, magical number, especially when you use it with alchemy and white magic. Um, so it's also in all religions, the number 7. The earth was made in 7 days. Um, so this is like... <laughs> Taking off the mask and noticing, you know, it wasn't good on the other side. And this feminine of you realizing, like, it's not good without my masculine, but there's nothing I can do about it. I'm okay. I've healed that. So there's a lot of mask energy going on for Virgos, okay? We also have a new life. This could be an, uh, it's an offer of a new life together, okay? I feel this masculine feels it because he sees the worth of the divine feminine here. Um, but you're both going to have to breathe, which is 11 okay and take the time to be open and vulnerable with each other that's really what i'm seeing all right guys all right if you like that reading so much love virgo i'm sending you all the love on this beautiful spring equinox so much love to you guys take it easy happy astana don't forget to like share subscribe if you want to work with me all that's down below bye